All right, here we are, Sports Bit 2.0, betting insight today. Paulie and Teddy, SBRPicks.com. We're live on 420 for you, Teddy. Yeah, the Cheetos kid. I know you got him. <laughs> it's legal here. Come on, everybody. Have a good time out there. Be careful and uh, give each other a hug. All right, how you doing, kid? You got me? You oh, good? sorry, man. I, 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 I double audio going there. Oh, what was sorry. the last thing you said? You go ahead. You're all yeah. right. <laughs> you're, you're, you're making 420 references. Hey, hey it's, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Stone cold sober uh, here go. in Las Vegas. Let's get right into it, buddy. We are going live today, which unfortunately means we don't have our normal graphics for you. We had a few technical difficulties in studio this morning. But what does it mean? It means you get us off the cuff a little bit. And you see how we do the show uh, every day, normally recorded. So let's get right into it, Paulie. What do you say? Bad beats, bad bets, and bad for the books from last well, night. Saying, yeah, not not good for the shops because you know what the public likes to do. So the three NBA games last night, you get favorite and over in all three games. Murray dunks it at the buzzer to push it over in that Golden State game. Warriors get the money again. Uh, play of the day, loser. You wanted the Warriors. I talked you out of it with that 28-3 angle first half. Uh, as well. That's where the uh, motion can go against you, as uh, many Spurs players said they weren't focused on the game. But let, uh, how about Embiid? Embiid, doubtful, and then probable. He plays, goes from one and a half to three, and they run out the heat in the second half, especially the fourth quarter. And also, you saw some under money as well, which was way off, as the Sixers scored 128 points. So, yeah, a lot to talk about uh, from last night. And let's start with Miami and Philadelphia, and you talked about a bad night for the books. This is probably the worst game uh, that they had from a side perspective. Nothing but 76ers money once Embiid was announced as up to probable and into the ball game. And as you mentioned, boy, they look good. They look like the best team in the East last night. Sports yep. books, both here in Las Vegas and offshore, have significant future book liability on the Philadelphia 76ers. And I'll tell you what, uh, I'll bet there was more than one sportsbook director staying up late last night worried about that liability because Philly looked really good uh, in that game three win over Miami. And for the second time in three games, the Sixers saved their best for the fourth quarter, really are running the heat out of the gym when it mattered most. Of course, the books got some back on the total. The total uh, bet from 217 down to 213. It landed 236. So all of that under money ended up in the books' pockets, but that didn't make up for what they lost on the side. That was a really bad result for the house. Yes, Pelicans played well again. Are you kidding? Up 25 in the third quarter, and which was a must-win for the Blazers? Unbelievable. 8-0 since Miritich shaved, and Miritich, <laughs> Holiday, and Davis now have all scored 30 points in the three games. 22-1 to uh, offshore to sweep the series. They're laying six and a half tomorrow. Get the yeah, as they sh as they should be because yeah. Portland has the one two three Cancun feel to them. We talked about the Blazers at the end of the regular season when all of a sudden the confidence went in the tank, the rotation injury wise went in the tank, and frankly, the quote here yesterday we gave you on Sportsbit from Damian Lillard talking about hey if we don't show up early here it's going to be a problem. Uh, if you didn't get involved in that game before tip-off, hopefully we are able to do uh, something in-game last night because, frankly, uh, that one was pretty easy. The Pelicans now officially the first bandwagon team of the NBA playoffs. Your bargain prices on New Orleans, they won't be there in game four of this series. Probably not in round two either. The bookmakers are taking a beating with Pelicans money. Late game Warriors from three up to three and a half. They beat the Spurs again. That's 11 out of 12 against them. Their long winning streak continues in the Western Conference playoffs. Game sneaks over as well. First half is now 28-4, betting against uh, betting well on teams that are down 0-2. Three of the losses with Golden State, so we ran into that again. But, uh, you know, as, as I mentioned at the top, though, the quotes coming from Parker and other guys that they weren't focused on the game. No, and uh, down 3 nothing. I don't think they'll necessarily be focused on game number four either. But, I mean, this was a really bad game for the house when you're talking about Thursday night NBA with all the favorites and all the parlays and all the over money all wheeled in, you know, and basically you talk about the two late games 
You had Golden State laying three and a half here in Vegas. And there was some wise guy money on San Antonio in that contest. Yeah. Uh, not a ton, but enough to keep the line from skyrocketing. But all the public was on the Warriors. And then, of course, the other late game uh, here in Vegas <laughs> where the public was involved was an MLB action where the Red Sox uh, took a ton of money again. So all of that Warriors, Red Sox, parlay action. You know, last night was a really, really bad night for the sports books. Uh, of course, we're not sports books. That's why we get to smile about it on a Friday morning. Good point with the Red Sox. Keep riding that sucker. That's 16 of 17 now, right? Because they yeah. lost opening day, uh, and they blew a 4 nothing lead in the bottom of the eighth. The only other loss was when Price had nothing, and they got beat at home by the Yankees 10-7. to And then you're getting great odds, good prices on this Red Sox team, too. Been dogs in a couple of these games especially against the Angels. And there's, there's, uh, I saw A's money earlier this morning. <laughs> they're, they're riding streaks. But, I mean, the Red Sox last night, another really bad game for the books. They closed the favorite uh, against the Angels. And, I mean, kudos to you if you've been riding that April streak. That's worth something, man. That's been an impressive streak for the Red Sox. And as you mentioned, you know, near pick and prices uh, on this road trip. That wasn't the only bad result. And MLB last night because the books got beaten up in that too, Paulie. The Yankees got steamed up. Minus 130 at the open, as high as minus 160 at the close. I didn't think we'd see money for CC, but we did, and the Yankees ended up getting the money there. And, of course, uh, a 25-cent move towards the Cubs with the wise guys backing John Lester. Chicago has you know, had a really convoluted schedule of late yeah. uh, with the weather screwing up their April. They've only played two games since that 14-10 to 10 freak show game uh, last week uh, against uh, Atlanta. What was that? Last Saturday. So... Uh, yeah. But now, 4-0 when Lester starts, the books got pounded by Cubs money again yesterday. Now, you, you have to explain the Marlins money. <laughs> What's that all about? Come on. What are we doing here? 20-cent move. Anderson's pitched well, too. Yeah, I mean, a bit, I mean it's really it's like 25-cent move in some spots. A 30-cent move towards the 5-13 and 13 Marlins at Milwaukee. Why is the money coming on the Marlins? This bad baseball team? At Milwaukee, well, I'll tell you why. This is the epitome of the MLB marketplace in 2018. It's all analytics all the time. Chase Anderson for the Brewers, well, as analytics say, too many fly ball outs. Oh, he's leaving the ball up. Too many fly ball outs. He's pitched well at every start. And you know what? He did give up two dingers yesterday. The markets were right in that regard. The ball did get in the air a little bit against him, but it didn't matter. Those weren't the only hits in the game, for Christ's sakes. Bottom line, Marlins took a bunch of money. Marlins got pounded. That's the marketplace in 2018. There are opportunities out there every single day. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.